In this video I'm going to start to work on the ear. The fur in the ear is a bit coarser than the rest of the tiger and the dart that I usually use is too fine. As you can see I have made a thicker version by grinding the point off a bit more. I've put a link in the description below to another video I made on how to make an embossing tool. Using the thicker tool I can now draw in the coarser hairs into the ear. To do this I use a longer more flowing stroke. For the longer hairs which go out into the background, I first remove the outline and shading with the putty eraser. Using the thicker dart, I can now emboss some of the longer hairs in. Using the blunt 2B pencil, I can now put the darker tone in on the edge of the ear. And because the pencil is blunt, it will not go into the groove made by the dart. If I do get any tone into the groove, this can simply be removed by rolling a point onto the end of the putty eraser and running it through the groove. I can then use a sharp 2B pencil to carefully just tidy up the edges. I now use a sharp 9H pencil to pull the darker tone along the edge of the indentation, as this will give a fine shadow to the bottom of the hair. By brushing the putty eraser over the end, it just softens the tone just a little bit to blend it out. Using the putty eraser, I again remove part of the initial drawing, before starting to emboss the fur texture with the finer dart. I then use the blunt 2B pencil to work back into the fur. The 4H pencil is used for the fur on the edge of the ear. By working away from the ear, it drags the darker tone and will end up with a finer tip. The fine dart is used to add texture to the darker areas. And then the 4B pencil is applied over the top to create a very subtle texture.
At the same time as working on the ear, I will also have breaks from it by working on other parts of the picture. With a picture of this size, it will take a number of months to complete. So I also find this is a good idea to start working on another project at the same time, as this will give me a total break from the picture. Currently no part of the picture is totally finished at this stage, as I find that as I build up the picture, I will notice alterations that need to be made. And this is done when the picture nears completion. As usual, there is a link in the description below for all the products that I recommend. Uh, these are affiliate links, so I will earn a small commission on any products purchased at no extra cost to you. And this really helps me to continue making content for this channel. So I hope that you found this video interesting. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.